Hello guys, I'm back with another video about Nerd Guitar Pedal stuff and in this one I will tell you about switches, foot switches and switches with lever, like this one. So actually how they work, what they do, we will check for a moment. Also big thanks for hitting 300 subscribers and as I promised in video, you can see it in a corner, uh, I will give away this pedal and I will do it in the next video so be sure to watch it because maybe you will get it. And also you can still enter this giveaway, just uh, watch video how I build this pedal and you will know everything what you need to do. And you will know the winner in my next video on a Sunday about building clone center. So yeah, you can't miss it. Okay, let's begin about switches. So in this video I will show you a few types of switches I commonly use in my workshop to build pedals. I will show you difference between foot switch and switch with lever. Also I will tell you how you can use them in your builds or how to use them to mod any pedal. I divided all those switches into four groups. So first switch is SPST, single pole, single throw. Single pole means that we can control one circuit with the switch and single throw means only one possible output position. As you see for example we can use it to connect additional clipping diodes. So actually this switch can only work in two states, connected or disconnected. Next one is single pole double throw. So again we can control one circuit with it but it has two outputs. As you see I have two types of them here, on on and on off on. Middle pin it's common connection. In this position middle pin is connected with top one and in this with bottom one. Same here but we have an additional middle position and it's off so middle pin it's not connected with any pins then. Here you can see foot switch version of this switch. So this is common pin and we switch in between those top connections. So for example we can use it to swap between two different pairs of diodes. Or bypass them with off. Next we have a DPDT double pole double throw. I mainly use on off on and on on versions. Simply it's just two SPDT switches tied together controlled by one lever. So now we can control two different circuits in the same time. Connections works the same as in previous switches. Just remember left and right side it's not connected at each other. I like to use those switches for mods as I did in my previous video, link in a corner. Next we have a triple pole double throw. So once again it's just three SPDT switches in one, controlled by one lever. It's that simple. So yeah, it's just another extension of those switches. We have uh, three circuits now to control and each with two outputs. This switch is commonly used for a true bypass switching. I also like to use them for effect order switching. But actually you can do anything with any of those switches. So for example with this switch in the same time you can change gain potentiometers, clipping diodes and also indicate the light with different color. Foot switch has two positions, first those connections and second those. And remember poles are not connected. And another extension it's 4 pole double throw switch. As you see this one is big. Actually it's pretty the same as 3 PDT just with another pole. Also I would like to mention you can buy momentary switch so it's active when you press it or latching one to switch between two stable states. So that's all for today, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video be sure to subscribe for more videos like this. Also would be totally awesome if you consider to leave a comment and thumb up. Cheers, thanks for watching.